We're here with the cast and crew of Justice League. Um, why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Jennifer Hale, I play Giganta and Killer Frost. My name is George Newburn and I play Superman. I'm Maria Canals and I play Hawk Girl. I'm Phil Lamar and I do the voice of Green Lantern. Hi, I'm Susan Eisenberg and I do the voice of Wonder Woman. I'm Andrea Romano and I'm the casting and voice director. One question that I get asked a lot and probably you guys do is like, what do you like about voice acting versus on camera acting? It's less ego, less ego, less stress. That's my experience with it yeah. too, is that there is less ego with the actors. It's not about if you're tall enough yeah. or blonde enough or skinny enough. It's really about whether you can act the role and if you can have the fun doing it. It seems that the actors are more free to just enjoy and play. And it's a mm -hmm. challenge to make everything happen with just your voice. You know, they can't see my face. Uh, I don't have anything else around me to help me. There's no set, and it's like, I want to make that little nuance come out in my voice. It's exciting, it's a, it's a challenge. I, I love it. No, I said rotate the securing bolt counterclockwise, not clockwise. That's what I did. Oh, no, you didn't. Now, I, I don't know, it seems in my experience, because we have a lot of guest stars on the show, and you'd know this best, Andrea, but it seems like people with singing backgrounds or stage backgrounds are the ones who adapt most quickly to doing voice Absolutely. acting. Mm -hmm. It has to do with, I think, the, the energy involved in stage acting, too. It's because voiceover acting is, is subtle, but it's not as subtle as on-camera TV or on-camera film is. It's uh, a little bit broader, and so stage actors seem to have the presence that is required for it. And um, singers, too, you're right. They have the mic technique already, obviously. That's part of it. And then that seems to translate well into the uh, voiceover field. Mm because this time I won't stop until you're just a greasy smear on my fist. Let's go. As actors, do you treat a superhero differently from another character? You remind me all the time. Yeah. Yeah, she's a warrior. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah that's oh, right, yeah. I'm a warrior. Yeah. Um, and the body language, like our body language when we're behind the mics. I mean, I know with Wonder Woman, she's very regal. I mean, I remember that from the audition. You know, there's just something, she's had a certain background and she's been raised a certain way. Bonsoir, Wonder Woman. Bonsoir, Monsieur. I'm not slumped behind a microphone. I mean, I always, even though I'm sitting, I am always sitting up straight. There's just a sense of who she is physically mm -hmm. that I think we all are conscious of when we're doing it. Mm -hmm. Then I guess you'll have to feed me. Don't be afraid, little man. I won't bite. The next question is, how did you decide on your voice for the, for the characters? And for me, w seeing these guys with gigantic chests just made me think, well, well he's got to have this you know, enormous voice for this enormous chest. <laughs> 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 Whose side are you really on? Don't you know? Well, you know, it's funny to think about that. Like, Giganta, she's huge, but she's all girl. I mean, she'll kick your butt, but she's, it's, her power comes from her, like, girl thing, <laughs> you know, and she's a warrior, but, you know, her bad comes from that, Every, uh, everything comes out of that, it's that dress. It's <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't hit a girl, would you? I would. I, I started out sort of at one level, they used to pitch me down, and I think as I, as I <clears throat> sort of got older during the series, <laughs> my voice got a little lower and I had to, didn't have to reach for the, for the, for the, the low part. But, but, but I definitely had to really focus on Superman, because you're right, he's drawn so gigantic. You see his bone structure when he gets electrocuted a lot, which is, which is all the time. I'm sitting, there, I'm sitting there looking at his vertebra going, God, that's like the vertebra of an elephant. <laughs> he's huge. Any minute now, Brainiac will explode. And guess what? You're going with him. Is there a different energy when we have a special guest star? Because we have a lot of really cool guest stars. You know, do you guys feel like there's a different energy in the room? Mm -hmm. Yeah, very yeah. much. Yeah. It's very exciting for me because yeah. I get to bring in actors that I admire. That's more like it. But I'll bet you folks at home are wondering who these wild cards are. Though it pains me to admit it, I need your help. My word is absolute and must be accepted by all. Ain't this great? The whole team together again, all eight of us. I have to look at it as who's gonna come in and have fun with us and yes. enjoy this process and not be freaked out by the fact that they've never right. had to work without the benefit of their physical uh, uh, you know, being. Right. Yeah. It's really right. about being able to translate to voice. It's well, I remember fun. one episode, and I'm trying to remember who all was here, but it was just like everybody was speaking in like 
bass tones. There was Clancy Brown. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I think Powers Booth. Mm -hmm. And Carl was here. And oh, Kevin right. Conroy was, yep. was here and in the you, studio. As, uh, yes, and you too. Yeah, I was doing yes. my low voice. Yes. And, uh, and I think Powers Booth. It was like, yes, everyone was just like, whoa, what do you think? Yes. I don't think this. <laughs> <laughs> to the point, yeah, you weren't even listening. You were just feeling it through the floor. It's right. like, all right, was that a good take? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anything I took was freely offered. Maybe you should take better care of your stuff. What are the advantages of recording as a group versus individually? It's far better when the group is together. I think everybody does feed off of each other's yeah. energy. And I think that it's important for you two to hear what happened in the scene before. Even if you're not in it, how sure. your scene is then going to follow and what's going to make sense. Take 157. I was bad cop. You're always bad cop. Why play against type? Anyway, we got a name out of her. That's another thing that bothers me. Aquaman and Dr. Fate. Fate's some sort of mystic, isn't he? That's right. And only magic could have hurt me like this. I guess I'm off the fence. Somebody asked, what are recording sessions typically like? And, I don't know, I would say they're pretty much like this, only with great big microphones oh, in front of Are we allowed faces. to actually say? <laughs> Mayhem. <laughs> 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 there, it's a little bit like um, being a teacher in an elementary school class. You know, I, I find sometimes, that sometimes. Sure. The really silly part is the rehearsal, because we rehearse the same day that we record. And so you have about a 40-minute rehearsal where you go through, I read the stage directions that, that are important to you guys to know as far as how it will affect your lines being read. And then um, that's when the silly stuff really happens. That's where everybody sort of gets out all the silly ad libs right. and the will, right. you know wild things that they do, right. and then when we get to the actual record, then it's a little bit more down to business, and let's get it done because we have a finite time to get this done in, and so then it gets a little bit more down to business. But the more fun thing to watch is, in right. fact, the rehearsal. Right. What's the plan? Plan? We blow that thing out of the sky. And another big part of the the recording is the action scenes. We do a lot of it in ADR, but we also do it live. We, I mean, a show like this has a lot of action. Mm -hmm. um, guys, give us your thoughts on the, the action scenes and the grunts. I think that is a whole separate day of, of animation. It's so physical. It's so much fun. Mm -hmm. it, is, well, it has become one of my favorite things. You didn't seem comfortable no. doing the, no. the action scenes. Uh, no, but I, now you're great at it. What changed? <laughs> I just got comfortable with it. It's like I let go of the inhibitions of it, of looking silly, of being concerned, and just having fun of just, of really feeling the punch, of really throwing the punch. I love, and I, yeah. now I, it's one of my favorite things. <laughs> oh crap, one more. <laughs> Specificity is so key in it. Like when someone says, okay, you get hit. Well, where am I hit? In the face, in the gut, in the arm, in the leg? What am I hit? Am I shot? Am I punched? Am I stabbed? Am I kicked? What is it? Well, if you're George, and, it's, uh, it's everything. Right. It's everything. Right. Yeah. It's Electricity everything. is his special thing. Uh, yeah, I just got my head crushed by gigantic feet. What would that feel like? It's an extra, <laughs> it's an extra, your imagination has to yeah, be, you uh, have to I would never it. survive that crush. So what would that, what would that sound like? All right, now I say to you, discuss Walla. We can't use full words if we discuss Walla. <laughs> Everybody discuss That's Walla right. in I, 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 three, I, two. Run. Bruce, just give us a level. Get out of my way. This is a big old ball's going to hit us. Wah! Let's talk about what Walla really is Let's so that dress. everybody understands yeah. what right. it is. It really encompasses a large group of things. It may be a crowd scene in a stadium where everybody is just basically talking. It's the sound that you would hear if you walked into a sports stadium and what do you hear? You hear all the crowd talking about whatever. People joke sometimes that when they do walla, they actually say the word walla, 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 That really doesn't work. And so sometimes we'll have to say, here's what the words are that you might be saying in this. And it's also, we get very silly. During it, I mean, yes. it's that one time where we really just <laughs> can cut loose. Yeah, we do, because it's the whole group, and you bring people in, and right. you bring some of the writers, and you know, Bruce will come in, and right. you know, and, and then it's like really, we're just yeah, playing. It's fun. It's, fun. Yeah. Yeah. it's all fun. And if we can't have fun making cartoons, for goodness sakes, <laughs> we're just exactly. in the wrong business. Yeah. Yeah, so, doing. pretty bad odds. Yeah, they don't stand a chance. What do you guys like best about working on Justice League? I like the cast. Yeah. Good group. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's a like great feeling group. when you'll hear Andrea say, excellent, and you look up and you see Bruce smiling. Plus being part <laughs> of a show that has 
such history, you know, being... Yeah, being, iconic character. Uh, yeah, yeah, being absolutely. Superman, being yeah. Hawk Girl, being Wonder Woman. The way popular culture is now, you know, there's so much ambiguity and the bad guys are good and the good guys are bad. And this is one of the last places in pop culture where good really is cool. That's a wrap. Just about. You like it, Bruce? Good. That yes. is a wrap. Oh. Really nice, you guys.